According to reports in the British media, the UK government intends to send a new weapon to Ukraine in the near future. The weapon being referred to is the Stormer HVM, a short-range air defense system that is based on the Combat Vehicle Reconnaissance Track Platform, or CVRT. The CVRT is a family of small, highly mobile armored combat vehicles that have been produced since 1970 and are used by the British Army and other militaries worldwide. The CVRT has been used as the basis for 10 different combat vehicles, including reconnaissance, anti-tank, amphibious, and command vehicles. The Stormer HVM is a type of air defense system with a limited range, created mainly to defend armored units against the danger of low-flying aircraft and attack helicopters. The British Army currently uses this air defense system, and it was introduced into service in 1997, with a total of 151 systems produced. The Stormer HVM gets its name from the high-velocity missile it employs, specifically the Starstreak High Velocity Missile which has already proven effective in Ukraine. While previously the UK only supplied portable Starstreak manpads to the armed forces, the Stormer HVM is a complete system mounted on full-track chassis. Let's have a close look at this vehicle. Specifications This defense system uses a modified Alvis Stormer armored personnel carrier as its base. The new turret on this vehicle features Starstreak HVM missiles for air defense and advanced search optics, with a larger camera next to the Commander Cupola. The launchers and target sensors are located towards the rear of the carrier. The weight of the vehicle is 13.5 tons, with a length of approximately 17 feet, width of 9 feet, and height of 8 feet. In contrast to other vehicles in the CVRT family, the Stormer is too heavy to be transported by a CH-47 Chinook helicopter. However, it is capable of being transported using the C-130 Hercules, or larger transport aircraft. The air defense system is operated by a crew of three, consisting of a commander, operator, and driver. Armament. The Stormer HVM is equipped with Starstreak surface-to-air missiles, which have unique properties that make them difficult to use for other purposes. The tank has eight of these missiles on the turret and an additional eight spares at the back. Each missile contains three high-density darts with impact fuses and explosive warheads, which can hit the target multiple times. These missiles have a two-stage solid propellant rocket motor and travel at speeds of over three times the speed of sound, or at Mach 3.5. The darts are released when the second stage of the motor burns out. The missiles have a service ceiling of 3,280 feet and are guided towards the target using a semi-automatic line of sight laser beam writing guidance. The operator then tracks the target using an optically stabilized sight. It takes less than five seconds from target acquisition to missile launch, with a high probability of hitting the target on the first attempt. The missiles have a range of 0.9 to 3.4 miles and can counter even high-performance low-flying aircraft, accessing 4.3 miles. It can detect aircraft at ranges of 11 miles and helicopters at ranges of 4.9 miles. It is interesting to note that the Starstreak missiles can also be launched from a three-round lightweight launcher or a man-portable shoulder launcher. In addition, they are not only effective against air targets, but also against ground targets. This is because the kinetic energy of the darts is believed to be strong enough to penetrate the front armor of an infantry fighting vehicle. Radars To remain undetected, the Stormer HMV employs special infrared search and track devices to identify targets instead of radar. These devices have a shorter range compared to conventional radar and do not provide target range until they are specifically locked onto. However, they can distinguish between friendly and enemy targets, or label friendly targets as friendly. Additionally, the system scans the surroundings of Stormer HMV approximately six times a second. This makes it difficult for even the best helicopters to detect it. Even though the vehicle is visible in arcade mode, the optronic system enables it to eliminate adversaries before they can target it. At night, the system can identify flares fired by enemy helicopters and respond appropriately. While there is a chance of mistakenly targeting other objects, once the system locks onto an enemy aircraft, it will ignore any other targets. The only limitation of this radar is that thick vegetation or smoke can obstruct the infrared search system. If a target cannot be seen through dense foliage, the system will also be unable to detect it. Survivability and Protection This vehicle is designed to withstand frontal attacks but can only endure limited damage. 
The vehicle's armor offers safeguard to the crew from the impact of small arms fire and fragments of artillery shells. Additionally, the vehicle has been equipped with an NBC protection system. However, the missiles are vulnerable to damage from small arms fire, bombs, and artillery, which could cause the entire missile rack to explode and destroy the tank and any nearby allies. The short burnout time of the missile carrier means it can quickly ignite and explode within 8 seconds, making it important to avoid direct combat whenever possible. Mobility and Maneuverability The vehicle is powered by a 250 horsepower Perkins T6 3544 turbocharged diesel engine, which boasts impressive mobility. It is capable of reaching a maximum speed of up to 49.7 miles per hour with a range of 404 miles. The Stormer is also highly maneuverable. It has a gradient capability of 60% and trenches up to 6.5 feet wide which allow it to climb steep inclines and navigate through challenging terrain. Additionally, the vehicle can handle side slopes of up to 30%, enabling it to move through uneven surfaces without losing stability. The vehicle can overcome vertical steps of 1.9 foot, making it possible to cross obstacles such as curbs or low walls. Furthermore, the vehicle's fording capability of 3.6 feet allows it to cross shallow bodies of water with ease, making it a versatile and reliable mode of transportation. By doing this, the Stormer HVN will become capable of utilizing superior hit-and-run strategies, allowing it to prevail against the Russian incursion. According to information provided by UK Ministry of Defense insiders, Stormer vehicles equipped with air defense missiles have been steadily phased out since 2009. The rationale behind this decision is largely attributed to the fact that the risk of airborne assaults on Western military forces has significantly diminished. However, it is worth noting that some Stormer HVNs are undergoing modifications to utilize the new British Martlet multi-purpose light missile, which has capabilities as an air-to-ground, air-to-surface, and surface-to-surface -surface missile. Despite this, as the Martlet only entered service in 2021, it is likely that Ukraine will receive older versions of the Stormer HVM from Starstreak, which cannot be used as light anti-tank systems. Nonetheless, having additional mobile air defense, particularly in light of the recent battle in Donbass, would be beneficial. The exact number of Stormer HVNs that will be sent to Ukraine is currently unknown, but it is confirmed that they will arrive before the end of April. A source reported that in 2022, there was a shipment of six Stormer HVM air defense systems sent to Ukraine to help protect against the Russian invasion. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.